going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to look at the sapphire nitro radeon 5500 xt this is seven nanometers and it is beauty now this graphics card in comparison is compared to a gtx 1060 um somewhere in between there considering the specs so i thought we would take a look at it and then once we take a look at it put it in that system and compare it to that graphics card to the current graphics card that's a gtx 960 4 gig card and it is overclocked so we're going to see which one does a better job better frame rates better fps the whole nine yards make sure to leave me a like subscribe to the channel and here we go all right boom and I'll set it down there ah so there you have it now this graphics card has RGB built into it also and it has a backplate look at that backplate damn that thing is awesome looking Whew. damn it looks good man oh yeah dude I can't wait to use it now it looks like a standard nitro card it really does except for it has RGB in it all right well let's do some specs I'll give you guys some specs on it okay so this card is 8 gigs of DDR6 it's 4.0 PCI Express support it has Radeon software it comes overclocked out of the box it's 7 nanometers Fidelity FX FreeSync 2 HDR and it has RDNA architecture in it that's pretty cool it has Nitro Glow addressable RGB the Trix boost support dual BIOS switch so this thing has a dual BIOS switch in it basically let's see here where is it at where is the switch at is it physically on it or is it elsewhere on it HDMI HDMI display 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 okay well, here, let me just keep going. With it. it has a fan quick connect and dual ball bearing fans. Now, this is the RX 55 XT graphics card. It can deliver a maximum of 1080p gaming experience for the PC gamer. The Nitro RX 550T is packed with Sapphire's renowned high-end quality components with our efficient 95mm fans, our black diamond choke. Oh, those are the power chokes. Okay, black diamond power chokes. Shroud enhancements to strengthen the delivery of the incredible performance and the stability that every gamer needs. Exciting features include the easy replaceable quick connect fans working, along the, working alongside the intelligent fan control dual X fan cooling to dissipate the heat with low noise. A high reality, a high reality, bleh, a high reality, wow, real, wow, I can't say it. Uh, reliability there it is a high reliability incredible uh, aesthetics ARGB fan a shroud lighting create a beautiful addition to your gaming's rig which can customize through our tricks software our new tricks boost feature to amp up the performance of your favorite games to secure the top spot over your friends while gaming get the nitro change and with the sapphire nitro x you can game and destroy your competitors so this is a 2019 card. Uh, I'm excited about it. Alright, so we got the new graphics card installed. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like.
So there you have it, guys. The score is in. I hope you guys saw that. Uh, if you need to rewind the video and look back through the score. But basically, this thing kicked its ass. Now, what I did is I did run um, uh, the graphics card. This one, the first one, the 960. It was overclocked, but I took it back off. I took the overclock off and ran the score and got the score that you saw. And then I took... No over, I didn't put any overclock on this one. I just ran it factory out of the box. Now the system is asking me to overclock it for better performance since I'm running it at 144 hertz. Also, I thought that it was kind of funny that this thing takes a single 8 pin versus the other one takes, uh, what, an 8 and a 4? Yeah, it takes an 8 and a 6. I'm sorry, it takes an 8 and a 6 pin. So it just kind of shows you how the newer cards are more power efficient. They don't require those extra pins like the, the older cards do. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to leave me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Watch YouTube, watch my videos, all that good stuff. And y'all, be cool.